All right, so I'm about to start getting to work on this Ryobi two cycle blower. Kind of a funny looking design, but carburetor bare minimum probably needs to be cleaned. I'm gonna replace the fuel lines right here. They're kind of ratty. There's my new ones, links in the description for all this stuff that I'm replacing. But first thing, we'll take off the air filter cover as well as the air filter. So we're gonna get ready to pull all this apart. So now we have better access to the carburetor. Remove these bottom fuel lines. But before we do that, undo the pressure from the tank. Piston looks nice and healthy. I'm looking through the intake here. Camera can't really see that too well. But I'm not gonna replace the fuel lines just yet. We're gonna take apart the carburetor. So I'm just taking this stuff off, kind of piecemeal, so we remember how to put everything back together. And we're just gonna have a real good look at everything in here. As well as clean this out with some spray. So unfortunately, I don't have another one of these primer bulbs on hand, so we're just gonna have to reuse this one. Same thing with this gasket. If I have to replace it, I will. I do plan on keeping this machine for my own personal usage, because I do not have a gas blower right now. So we'll just slap everything back together. I did clean out the inside of the carburetor. It really wasn't all that dirty. Put the screws back in. Carburetor's clean. Now we're gonna start on the tank. These do need to be changed out. All I'm gonna do here is pull them through one at a time. like that we'll size up a new one I did cut this a little long on purpose we're gonna pop some of the end off here and that will help us stick it on in we really just need to get enough through we might have enough right now so kind of match it up with the other side for the length on top of the tank Pull that out, flatten this. New fuel filter, there we go. Just flop it on in. Of course, we do have some debris in here. All right, tank's cleaned out. We do the same thing same thing size it up nip off a little bit of the end and 
the same thing. There we go. So now just to put the carburetor back on. All right, just got the proper fuel lines sized up, routed, installed. Air box is back on. Trigger cables back on. Now just to fill it up with some gas and see what happens. Fill her up with some two-stroke. Half a tank is good enough. So from what I was looking at with these carburetors, it does not appear that these are adjustable. So hopefully this one doesn't need to be adjusted. really good I'm gonna replace the carburetor though unfortunately you can't really adjust these so it's kind of makes more sense just to replace it and uh, I'm not sure that these are the proper size fuel lines I mean they seem like they're working okay but something tells me that it might be restricting the fuel a little bit we'll see I, I just ordered a new carburetor and fuel line kit off of Amazon, so that'll be a separate video. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Stay tuned for more.